Good morning, Crusty Crew. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to actually be attempting to wash my bonnets and show you guys how to clean and care for yours because it has definitely been a while, if never, that I have actually cleaned my bonnets since I have gotten them. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to enter the 40k subscriber giveaway. I'll have all of those details linked down below in a pinned comment for you guys. Also, if you are the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, and would love your promo to sponsor a video, please send me an email at shermainjoyel at gmail.com. I would love to collaborate with you, but let's get started. So today I am going to be washing my bonnets for probably the first time. Actually, yeah, no, yeah, the first time since I've had them. And I thought it'd be interesting to try and film it, kind of show you guys, one, how to basically care for your bonnets, how I'm going to care for my bonnet. So my hopes is that this is not gonna end up like some of my cheap bonnets where it says you can machine wash them or hand wash them and it's all of a sudden it's like, why is this not shiny anymore? <laughs> Why is the bonnet so rough and not doing what it's supposed to be doing? Luckily, I have some much better quality bonnets featuring, obviously, my famous pink one you guys always like, and of course, my other extremely favorite bonnet, my swirly curly bonnet. This is the one that's in black with the edge control. So these are the only bonnets that I ever use, like ever. So we're gonna attempt to wash these bad boys. It says that you can either hand wash them or machine wash them. So today, I think I'm going to try machine washing my bonnets. I'm gonna wash them obviously separate because I don't want them to accidentally like bleed into each other if that happens. Kind of like you don't wash the lights with the darks or the whites with the lights. That's just common sense when you do laundry. So we're gonna treat it the same way. Not to mention I have to do laundry anyway, but I'm gonna just wash them just by themselves to see what happens. So I will see you in my laundry room. All right, so I think I'm gonna actually wash my swirly curly bonnet first. And it says you can do wash, you know, machine, it's machine washable. So just to be safe, I'm going to use cool water and then I'm probably gonna do a low, low heat for the drying, but I'm gonna wash it with cool water. I think that's probably the best option, honestly. One, to keep it from shrinking. I don't wanna use the hot water. Two, I feel like hot water causes colors to bleed more. So yeah, we're gonna try that, so. Still shiny. All right, let's do that in the dryer. Let's try low heat and just do. Right about here. I don't think I'm too worried about it. And then let's start. Right. Time for this one. This one's a little grimy. That's okay. Boop. But tap cold, <sighs> cold wash, and done. All right, let's see how the first bonnet came out. Look at that! Soft and shiny still. Whoop! Whoop! happy camper right now. Still shiny. Still fits really, really well. Let's go ahead and just put the uh, last one in the dryer now. Same setting. Do 
Got less fur right there. And let's start. All right. So both of the bonnets are now clean and still super shiny and soft. I am actually super duper happy <laughs> that I did not ruin these, especially this swirly curly one. But uh, the reason I say that is because, and I wish I could find it, but I had bought a bonnet like at the very beginning of my natural hair journey. And when I, it started off shiny, but then when I washed it, it became so dull. It was no longer that soft satiny feel. It was just a cheap bonnet, so I'm kind of not surprised. But I was afraid, because sometimes when things say they're machine washable and they don't have exactly what, you know, specific settings as to what is the best setting to wash it on, I get scared that it's gonna ruin it. Or especially with hot water, I'm scared it's gonna shrink the bonnet even more and with how much my hair has been growing you can't tell right now because my hair is cornrowed back and they are wrecked because I fell asleep without my bonnet last night but I was afraid of it you know not only losing that soft satiny feel that we rely on to protect our hair but I didn't want it to shrink and then no longer fit over my hair and this didn't shrink at all the other one didn't shrink at all it feels just as amazing as when I first got it and even though it says you can hand wash them I didn't want to hand wash it because I just didn't want to take forever to do it and I also didn't want to air dry it even though I could air dry it out in in the shade because I live in like Arizona so just the hot air itself would just dry it but I didn't want it to get sun bleached either so I think the best settings are going to be doing it with cool water not even like the coldest setting just cool water I had the tap I had the cool tap option on my washing machine and then you want to just do a, a tumble dry on with low heat. I think it's just, it's gonna work the best. It's gonna help continue the longevity of your bonnets. But yeah, so yeah, I hope that this little video and quick kind of experiment and tutorial kind of helps others feel comfortable with washing their bonnets. I know that sometimes, you know, hair oils and products will build up on your bonnets as well and make it kind of, you know, stinky or dingy. And, you know, so it's nice to know you can clean these safely and have it, you know, look and feel just like it did on the first days that you bought it. But I hope that you guys absolutely enjoyed this video. Don't forget that you can purchase all your Swirly Curly items at SwirlyCurlyHair.com. And I also have my coupon codes down below. You can use JoyL15 for 15% off of your purchase purchases. But don't forget to click that subscribe button. Keep blooming, and I'll see you guys in the next video.